just to represent me. Uh, who wanna bet us that we don't catch men and stand chatters forever? Live treacherous or leave set of us. To the death of us, me and my confidants. Yeah, shy, you feel the ambiance. I just get this rhyme. Body ounce though accumulates like snow. We don't just shine, we illuminate the whole show. You feel me? Factions from the other side would love to kill me. Spill three quarts of my blood into the street, let alone the heat. I'm gonna be hated looking up in this life. In no possible ways, no defense is bugging my life. We're back, we're back. We here in Winsboro, South Carolina at Good Vibes. And you see who I got. The champ, Jalen Christian. Give it up for us. This is birthday. Yeah. Birthday celebration. Then we have his, his father who is the promoter for Stokes promotion. Yeah, Christian. Give it up for him. Keep it real, man. It's, it's birthday celebration. You just KO that man. No, no, no. no went all eight. Went all eight. Yeah. And um, you're a champion now, and it's your birthday. So, how are you feeling, my man? Feeling good. I'm ready to dig in the crab legs. Hope everybody has a good time tonight. <laughs> <laughs> As he said, we got crab legs tonight, so you know it's gonna get serious in here in a minute. All right, so Mr. Bridget, mm -hmm. you talked about Vegas. Well, South Carolina is now Vegas, right? That's the vision, right? That's the vision. And we, we talked about vision. Um, you gotta see it before it can even manifest, right? Yeah. What you think about that? Yeah. Well, first I wanna say, uh, I wanna thank Joy Sports for this interview, uh, for the victory celebration for Jalen. Um, and we were hosting it at Good Vibes at 145 Commerce Street in Winsboro, South Carolina. We all were there. And along the way, uh, I just want to thank all the supporters from different communities like Ridgeway, South Carolina, yeah, yeah. Blackwood, Winsboro, <laughs> uh, especially Columbia. Um, we got some support from Lexington and East Over, and then other parts of uh, um, the Midlands. So yes, uh, we do have that vision in place uh, of seeing uh, the Vegas style of mega events held in Columbia, and we're not that far away from it. Um, so, uh, in the absence of my partner, Andrew Stokes, I uh, just want to thank him for all that he do also behind the scenes for the promotion. And uh, we are on uh, Jalen's eighth professional fight, and uh, he has become the ABL welterweight champion in the Mid-Atlantic, which is a regional title. And we're heading for that world title in just a uh, trust the process type of situation. I'm giving it up for that, that's big. Okay, so with that, with that being said, um, y'all doing a um, magnificent job in promoting Jalen and his career. Um, I've seen the growth. Everything is uh, positive, everything looks good, and most important is professional. You're not just, you know, just throwing things together, so it's professional. So now, going forward, we got a fight coming up. Got a fight coming up February 29th. And this will be a uh, defending ABM title for our title, let's make title. He's up here first. There you go. Right. You ready in your head, you ready, you ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to tell me. So, bottom line is, you 
straight red. You don't have to be red because you got already red. So you said February to uh, what? 29th. 29th. And be back at Jamil Temple, right? Right. Oh, man. So what's, what's the groundwork in this moment right now going forward, putting it all together? How is that going now? Okay, so that's a great question. So the groundwork is I'm always conscious of mentioning our sponsors because they are the ones that help support the right. event. So I'm always conscious um, making sure that they get the recognition for what part they play. Right. Um, and I'm looking at this right here, so I want to acknowledge Faye Guides, that right, Stefan Willingham, he's in Winsboro, South Carolina, he's a big supporter. Um, Bobo Restaurant, which is in Columbia, um, they have a great support. They also help um, do the event here tonight. Uh, Good Vibes, which is Marcus Cash, who's also the owner of this. Uh, we got Brown Construction, he's a owner, minority owner here in Winsboro, South Carolina. He's owned by Brian Brown. McDaniel Construction, which is owned by uh, Donald McDaniel. All these guys are actually, um, their roots were right here in Winsboro, South Carolina. Uh, we have Cracker Bear, we have Paul Shop, which is in Winsboro, South Carolina. Uh, Nail Tech Industries, they are in Columbia, My House Restaurant, and uh, don't just name a few. And so the groundwork from here on out is trying to find a next competitive uh, boxer to uh, fight Jalen on February 29th. And who would be willing to have the courage <laughs> to step in the ring with him again? Or give, give, uh, give, give their best effort. Uh, I remember one time, uh, just on the September fight, uh, he fought Damon Gaston. And the advice that I heard that the coach gave him was, uh, go out there and do the best you can. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that alone says a lot about the, about the uh, ability of this young fighter right here. All right, Jim, uh, we're not going you know, prolong the crab legs too much longer. Now, I want to ask you this real quick, though. Um, so the diet, like, is, we're not doing diet right now. We're going to go ahead and eat, right? Yeah. So when are you going to cut that off and go forward to, like, really getting in, in shape? Or do you want those pig skins and milk? You remember that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had uh, an amateur tournament. I had an amateur tournament to do it. And that is Nationals. And um, I think I was 2,000 away from the weights. I was, I was about at 140. I think I was 142. And on the way up, it, it, was, like, it was like a 13 hour drive. And we stopped by the stove. I said, man, I got to get something on my stuff, man. Oh, man. And I called myself going to stuff. I got pork skins. I got some hemp. I got a bunch of the. Uh, uh, like the little water, little water that they had a whole bunch of sodium in it. I, I kept drinking one after the other. My mind stopped playing tricks and I said, hey, I'm just going to bother, I get another one. Yeah, like, I sweated off of something in my sleep. I drunk all eight on the porch, skin, ate three bananas, you know, bananas on the way on you. I got, I got into the Nationals, we go way in, I got 147. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he said, I looked, I looked at him, he looked at me. He said, you already know what you got to do. I went and put, put my little, put a little eyeball in on, put my sweat bag on. He, I, went, I, went, I, ran, I ran three miles on the treadmill downstairs, I'm in the jacuzzi. Came out of the jacuzzi, I said, I should be good. Now I got on the scale at 146. I said, Lord, I don't know. It's going to be a long night right here. And then I, I said, shoot, we're going to have to, you know what I'm saying, go to the next level. I went in the bathroom, I turned the hot shower on. I turned the blow dryer on, put a towel on the door, and I started, kept the bag, I started, I started shadow boxing, doing all kinds of stuff, and I came out of there. He was, he was like, it had to be 185 degrees in there. <laughs> I, came, I came out of there, I think I was 145. You still had 500 pounds to go. So I, I, I started, at this point, you know, when you, at this point, my body had survival mode now. So now I started praying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're doing God now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so I, I had to do the same thing over again because the, the, uh, the treatment wasn't doing it no more and the school wasn't doing it either. So I went back in the bathroom, turned the shower back on, turned the blow dryer back on. And I said, um, this time I didn't move around too much. And I sat down on the edge of the tub. And I was just sitting, I sat there for about 30 minutes. And then I stood up. I promise you. I, I, I stood up on top of the toilet and I started reaching up for flowers that wasn't even there. <laughs> that's, I think, I said, that's when I said, I never even put skins again in my life. <laughs> All right, well, it's not poor skins today. We're going to do these crab legs. You got anything before we go? Yeah. yeah. I want to uh, say how much we appreciate you coming up to um, do the interview with Jalen. You know, taking your time to do the interview with Jalen and Stokes Promotion, and we appreciate you. And we're gonna rock with you all the way. And I do wanna thank everybody for coming out tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it do mean a lot to me yeah. that y'all came out tonight. That, that ain't have to do it. Yeah. So, and I wanna thank all y'all for support. Because, you know, it's not easy to support somebody else's dream. Mm -hmm. I do want y'all to understand that wow. it's our dream. We got you. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. 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 We want to also thank the ticket team on every event. Mm -hmm. They go out and help sell tickets because I needed some help to put boots on the ground. And so now we got people that are part of our ticket team to help go out and put the word out there and do the hands-on work that I was doing and Jay was doing. And we want to make sure I put it on camera that I thank everybody that's a part of the ticket team. And if you also want to be part of the ticket team, you can be a part of the ticket team.